iOS 26 is coming out really soon. We are now just over a week away from the release of iOS 26 to the public and of course it has a ton of new features and changes. Now there are over 300 new features and changes that you will be able to find on the new iOS 26 of course besides the all new design which is really awesome. So in today's video we are taking a look at some of these features actually I will show you guys 10 hidden features, features that most people don't know about that are actually very very useful and once you update your device to the new iOS 26 you will probably find yourself using these features on a daily basis. And we are starting things off with reminders. One really amazing feature that Apple has added to iOS 26 is the ability to now add quick reminders. So what you can do is basically added to your control center but you can also add it to your lock screen or to the action button if you have a device with the action button. So head on to the control center, add a control right here and just search for reminders. So here's what you can do. So basically you search for reminders here and once you add the toggle you will have two different options. I can tap here, it will show me the pop up right there. I can go ahead and quickly add a reminder, choose the list here where I want to place it as easy as that and what's really cool is that you will also have the other options right here like maybe be adding the date here or the time which is basically everything that you also get when adding a reminder within the app. Now what you can also do is that if you go ahead and just like 3D touch or force touch on the toggle right here on the control center or on your lock screen you will get a menu with the list of reminders that you have on your reminders app and you can quickly go ahead and create a reminder from here. Now here is another super useful feature when it comes to reminders. You head on to the phone app and you go to your calls. So let's say you receive a call, you haven't been able to answer it or you're maybe busy doing something and you have to remind yourself to call that person later. All you have to do is just swipe like this and they will get the reminder button. You tap right there, remind me in one hour and just like that now you have added a reminder for you to call that contact. It is actually super super useful. As you can see right there with a couple of clicks I can go ahead and add a reminder to call that person later. Now here is another one that I really like. This one can be found on the iMessage app. So with iMessage on iOS 26 we have a ton of new features and changes and this one is actually super useful. So you have a conversation, you have a ton of photos and videos there and you go to the contact details where you will of course see their info, the backgrounds that now you can use, the links, the photos and videos as well. Now what this new feature allows us to do is to find a specific photo within the conversation. Just like you have a button if you have seen it on your lock screen when you go to edit the wallpaper on your lock screen you can show that wallpaper on the photo library. Now you can actually do that within the iMessage app for your photos that you receive. You just basically touch the photo right there and you get the menu where you can go ahead and show it in the conversation. As easy as that it will take you to the part of the conversation where you have sent or received that photo. Now one of the coolest things that I think a lot of people don't actually know about on iOS 26 is that now you can set any song you want as a ringtone for your device without having to use the garage band method and that's super useful and very easy to do as well. As long as you have a song on the mp3 file and it's under 30 seconds on the files app here you can see I have this file. All I have to do is just tap the share button and now it will allow me to actually go ahead and use this as a ringtone. As easy as that, of course I already have it but it, it will just add it to your ringtones and from here all you have to do is just go to the ringtone section on the settings app and just add it as your ringtone. Now one really useful feature for Siri on iOS 26, I know Siri didn't get a lot of updates with iOS 26, the big updates are expected to come with 26.4 but a really useful one is type to Siri while you're on the phone call. So previously if you would be on a phone call you wouldn't be able to use Siri. Now you can actually do that so basically the type to Siri feature where you double tap here to invoke Siri and you can type to it ask questions. Now it will work while you're on a phone call. So you're on a phone call you need to find any information. You can just go ahead double tap on the bar here, invoke the keyboard, type to Siri and get your answer. 
Next up, we're moving to the podcast app. Now with podcasts, we have a lot of updates as well. And one of the most useful ones is the ability to now set custom playback settings per show. So if I go to a show right here, tap the three dots right there, I can tap on settings. It will take me to this page where I can enable notifications for this show or reorder it. And then right here, well, I will have speed and audio adjustments. Now I can use the default settings or I can go to custom for this show. And this allows me to basically enable or disable enhanced dialogue and set also the playback speed, which will be specific for this show. So if I set this at 1.5 right here the other shows will play at the default just this one will play at 1.5 Moving on to the lock screen. So as you probably have seen on the lock screen of your iOS 26 device, when you have the big clock enabled, you will actually have the widgets at the bottom right here. So if I have the widgets right here at the top, once I just drag the clock here to make it bigger, it will automatically adjust them and add them to the bottom right here. But also if you're not using the big clock, but you still want to have the widgets at the bottom, you can do that. So you just go ahead and drag this section right here and you can have the small clock and still have the widgets at the bottom of your lock screen which makes it very easy for you to have actually access to them while using your device with one hand next up we're moving to the settings app so head on to your settings go under general right here and then go to iphone storage now what apple has done with the iphone storage on ios 26 is that now they have added the photos right here but you will also have a section here dedicated for your screenshots. So if I go right here, you can see I have a recommendation for photos. If I go here, I have duplicates and screenshots as well. And we have videos as well. Now we have screenshots because, you know, we take a ton of screenshots on iOS and probably also have a ton of screenshots. Here I have a bit over three gigabytes of screenshots and now they have their own section. So you can go here and just select whichever screenshots you want to remove from your device. And we're staying here on the settings app. Now let's head on to sounds and haptics. If I go here, you can see we have a new section input. We can go here and now we can choose the input microphone for our device. So if you're using another microphone, you can just go ahead and change the input right here. Now the default will be the automatic, of course, the iPhone microphone, but you can go ahead and switch between different microphones. If you have added a microphone to your iPhone, you can just go ahead and switch it right here. And last but not least, we're going to Safari. Now on Safari, when you tap the three dots right here, it will make it very easy for you to now add a bookmark. So we have the section right here to add a bookmark as easy as that but what's really cool is that from here you can also quickly manage your bookmarks you tap right there and you will have your bookmarks right here very very easy to add and manage bookmarks having everything here at your fingertip so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 hidden features of the new ios 26 that i think you will love and use on daily basis so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.